Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to run multiple store procedures in single execute SQL task and map their parameters to the different variables. We will be using the store procedures with the input parameters here but that technique will be going the same way for the output parameters as well. And I have another video in which I have showed how to use the input and output parameter in execute SQL task. So go ahead and check in the playlist. Now what we will be learning here uh, in this video, how to create SSIS package from scratch. That's the very first thing we learn. Then we will create a variable in SSIS package. Next, uh, we will create some sample store procedures with input parameters. And finally, we will be using those store procedures in execute SQL task and map their parameters to the variables in SSIS package. Now let's go to SSMS and create those objects first and then we create our SSIS package. Here what I have, I have a customer table definition. So I'm going to drop the table for now if uh, it is there. So it, the table does not exist so we can create it. And uh, this table has customer ID, that's identity column. And then uh, we have customer name and region code. That, that's very simple. A table I just created for you so we can see or we can use in our demo now next uh, step is a create some store procedure so we are create procedure and a DBO insert EU and I am declaring a, or using a, a input a parameter called region code and worker hundred that's the data type and then we use the word as and begin and I'm inserting into a customer table that we just created above and I'm inserting a customer name and region code so I'm getting the value from the parameter and inserting into the uh, this uh, uh, table um, by using this input parameter and here I'm hard coding the value for the name so that's fine next uh, we are creating a second store procedure and uh, we are using the region code same uh, input uh, parameter we can call it uh, NA or whatever we want to call it doesn't really matter and then uh, we are using the value of this uh, uh, variable sorry input parameter in the uh, insert statement so we are going to insert the values what is going to happen I'm going to create these two store procedures and we will pass the values to these store procedures let's say if I want to run this store procedure I can I will show you what happened we will pass let's say your EU value and then we want to run NA and we will pass the value and North America. Now, if I run both of them, they should insert. Uh, sorry, we should use execute or on top. Now we are executing these uh, two store procedures here. They both inserted one record. The value for first uh, store procedure is, is EU and uh, for the second was is North America so we were able to pass different uh, values to these store procedures as input parameter let's go and take a look uh, if the values are inserted correctly so we can see that uh, the values are inserted correctly in the table and uh, by using these two store procedure now we will be using the same store procedures we are going to copy this one go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or SSI uh, bids uh, and uh, create a new SSIS package. If you are using uh, uh, SSIS 2012 or 14, uh, you will be using the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. And if you are using old versions such as 2005 and 2008, you will be using the bids. Now let's uh, rename this package and we call it in SP input parameters. Here we will be bringing execute SQL task as this task is used to run SQL statements or store procedure and any other SQL statement so we can use this one execute SQL task open it then 
select the connection type. So in my case, I'm using OLEDB connection type and I will be making a connection to the database where my store procedures are. So in this case, they are in the test database. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to show you how to create a new connection manager. First of all, you will be providing SQL server name or instance name when we, you will be creating the connection manager. Next part, you will be providing the database name for OLEDB connection manager. So hit OK, hit OK. Now we are all set. Here we will be using SQL statements and we will paste our statements and if you can see here what happened these are the hard code values we can run them again and it will insert the same values over but we want to use some variables that will be coming from the SSIS package and we will be using for these store procedure so for each of that I have put question mark if I have more than one uh, parameter I will be putting with the comma and then I have another question mark and that's how I will be keep putting question marks and if I will have output parameter that store procedure is returning I will put a question uh, comma and question mark and output that's how I will write it but in our case we are using only the input parameters with multiple store procedures so each one has one input parameter so we are fine it okay the next part is uh, we do not have any variables in the SSIS package as of now let's create a couple of them so I'm gonna call this one uh, region CD and uh, I will call it uh, EU underscore EU so this is uh, the variable we will be using uh, for the the EU uh, uh, store procedure sorry <laughs> and uh, here I will be putting a value called EU ROP Europe the whole thing and uh, next uh, I will be calling a uh, REGION region code and uh, I will call it NA so I'm gonna make a difference in a small name so you will remember CODE CD NA so just trying to make a different from each other and here I will be saying only NA instead of North America and as of now what we have let me actually truncate this table so we have a couple of values we want to truncate it truncate table so when we run our store procedure from the SSIS package they should put the values and there should be no values so right now it doesn't have any values come back here we are running the store procedures right now we have t told this execute SQL test okay we are going to provide you some more values by using the variables and that's how we provide the question marks for these input to parameters hit ok now we go to the parameter mapping and here we will be adding the values for those question marks those are our input parameters and then we will be going all the way here we will be using Europe and then that's input parameter and this var char that's the type of that so we will get the var char next uh, you have parameter name this is kind of confusing the, here you have to provide the index uh, like okay on which number that parameter is uh, so this is the very first uh, but we will start with the zero and you don't have to worry about parameter size in this case when we are using OLEDB um, connection manager next uh, we will be providing uh, the parameter mapping for uh, our second uh, store procedure and it is varchar and uh, this will be coming one so if you go back here in the journal so we have first question mark and second question mark but here in the mapping we start with zero and one index so that's how you will keep going now hit ok we are all set our store procedures are not returning anything so we are fine they are only accepting input parameters and we have mapped these variable values to the input parameters by using execute sql task hit ok run the SSIS package and see if it runs it completed successfully that was fast hit to stop go to the SSMS and run the select query so if we run the select query we see that there are two records one came from the Europe and second came from the um, North America here let's make it a little different in the both store procedure we were putting name Amir let's put another name called uh, John 
and alter this script as well so we have to alter our store procedure now one name should be john and other name should be amir let's go back here and and we can call it europe region and let's call this one north america region why i do that i know i have already ran my store procedure but i always go back and retest with the different values and make sure everything works fine and also i show you with the multiple executions they work sometimes it's important you want to run a couple of time to make sure everything works with the different values and all that so here we see third value is inserted the name is Amer and european region and next four is john and north america region so our store procedure are running absolutely fine and accepting the values from the variables as the input parameter and writing or executing the statements what are in them so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, uh, I hope uh, you learned some good stuff from here and uh, you will be able to use that in re real life and I will see you in next video.